Hello everyone, my name is Zach Mueller. And I'm Kristen Gerhardt. And, and welcome, welcome back, back to, to Expose. No, it's my line. <laughs> back to Expose. And that's the third time you've worn that hoodie. Fine. Is this better? It's doable. A reality show magic competition series is currently casting. There is a nationwide search for the next breakout magician to star and compete for the grand prize of a Las Vegas show. If you're interested, you can email a video of yourself to magicroundtable at yahoo.com. My routine consisted of linking hula hoops. Jillian Jacobs, aka Britta, from NBC's Community will be joining the Burt Wonderstone cast as she makes a cameo appearance as a magic groupie for the movie. More girls! Finally! But seriously, magic groupie? I mean, come on guys. Australia's Christopher Wayne released a trailer for his new series, More Than Magic. They've currently produced 13 30-minute episodes. The name of the network has not yet been released, but they've confirmed the show for Australia, New Zealand, England, and as of this week, the US as well. So stay tuned for updates in the weeks ahead. Lastly, but not leastly, next week Rob Anderson will be doing an interview with Chris Kenner, executive producer to David Copperfield and one of the most influential minds in magic. So be sure to post your questions in the comments below. That wraps up the news and now over to Zach for the dizzle on new products, yo. That was really bad. Thank you very much, Kristen. It's time to talk about the latest and the greatest. Also the greatest. Sentinels be back, my homies. That street talk for the Sentinels have been reprinted on premium 909 finish, boxed again in the nicest papers with metallic foils, and are now available for your purchasing pleasure. Just in case you're wondering. Whilst on your playing card purchasing spree, you may want to pick up a deck of monarchs. Perhaps our new trailer will entice you. It turns out that anamorphic shots of you stepping towards a camera and sexy glares improves your trailers by 87.9%, a statistic of which I just made up. Now switching on over to the whir, or the wire as some people call it, we have five brand new releases including a flourish called Galaxy and Andrew Main's The Butterfly Effect. We also released a very unique cardistry download called Nano which features all this very interesting geometric cardistry which you should definitely check out. I'm guessing that his music influences are a cross between Galaga, Dig Dug, and Dalton Wayne. Speaking of Dalton Wayne, topping out at number one on the wire is his effect Daphne. Coming soon, an exclusive expose sneak peek is the sequel to his effect, which I created, called Velma. That comes out February 29th, 2016, a year in which we'll all be living on the moon with New King Rich as our president. It's also $39.95. And lastly, on The Wire, be sure to check out Witchcraft by Arnel Renegado. I'm pretty sure I didn't say that right. A revelation appears on a playing card, and just as quickly and magically, it dissipates into nothingness. This is a really cool and a little bit creepy revelation that is completely examinable before and after the effect, and there's only $4.95 on The Wire. Go check it out if you want to. If you don't, I don't, then don't. Now it's time to throw it over to Mr. Rob Anderson, who will be interviewing none other than Mr. Pepe, or as you all know him, Patrick Coon. Rob, take it away. What's up, guys? This is Rob Anderson here with Mr. Patrick Coon. Patrick, Hi, thanks for joining us. Hey. Patrick, in addition to being a very well-known magician and consultant, you're also an accomplished graphic designer and video editor. Tell us a little bit about how video editing influences your magic or vice versa? A lot of people have been doing a lot of magic on video to kind of share their um, their magic lately and it's become really popular on YouTube. Right, definitely. It's actually one of the easiest medium, you know, to pass out to people, to kind of see your skill. But, you know, the best way is to actually perform to people than 
perform magic on the camera. Magic is really similar with design. You, you create something for people, expressing your creativity. So um, just kind of reverse engineering from there. So. Right. Tell us a little bit about how you got into that field. Actually, um, I never edited a video before until I started doing magic. And you know, there's a lot of video out there that didn't actually inspire me to do video editing because it's something you want to share to people. And Andre is right. actually one of the first person um, that I talk online and ask a question and was nice enough to give me some answer and some advice about video editing. Zach was the first person actually told me how to do DSLR editing and Andre. Very cool, very cool. Moving right along with that, Patrick, what are some of your favorite situations to perform in? Situation, um, definitely not at night, but just in a normal situation with friends, people who are having fun, good time, like family. Um, it's just close, you know, intimate sort of situation, like not mostly, staged. It mostly depends on the audience and, you know, because some people, they do enjoy magic more than other people. And right. That makes the difference in magic when you perform. Yeah, definitely. You don't want to be that guy out there just showing it up at a party. Hey, I got some card, take a card. <laughs> no, okay, <laughs> take a card. No. Okay, cool. You don't want to be that guy. Cool. Well, Patrick Cohn, thanks for coming. Thanks, man. Thanks, man. Hey guys, Andre Jick here and welcome to this week's expose. This past week, Michael James released an awesome video entitled Last Day. He used a bunch of slow motion effects to tell a story about his last day in Texas prior to moving to Las Vegas. It's an awesome video, it's got a lot of hits, and we encourage you to check it out in the media section and on his YouTube channel. In other news, we Facebooked it, we tweeted it, and we released a news post about it. So just in case you've missed all that, we released a brand new batch of Sentinel pictures that Michael James and myself took and they're probably scrolling through the screen right now, so have a look. It was a lot of fun shooting it because uh, we went to Home Depot and got a lot of shiny materials, uh, metallic surfaces, spray cans, and we modded the material and we made it look awesome. So uh, check it out. We made it work. Speaking of awesome playing cards, we just released the Sentinel... This phone probably appeared out of nowhere. Speaking of awesome playing cards, we just released the uncut Sentinel sheets, and they're now ready and available to purchase. Lastly, Michael James and I are editing two separate projects from Matthew Biche. If you remember, a while back ago, Matthew flew in all the way from France to film five projects with us, and currently we're working on two of them. They are absolute sorcery. I think I've said it before, but I'll say it again. Sorcery. So with that said, Andre Jick signing out. We'll see you guys later. Thank you both, and thank you guys for watching. Be sure to leave your questions in the comments below for our interview next week with Chris Kenner. On behalf of myself, Kristen, Andre, Rob, and Patrick, we hope you have an awesome week, and we'll see you next Friday. Next Friday. Next Friday. We'll see you next Friday.